All right, welcome back to Football Manager 2016 Team Canada Edition. Uh, fast forwarded the season a little bit. Um, let's not look at that. Let's look at that. So last time we were here, we saw the Bullies blow out. Uh, that was about a month ago. And uh, we played Suriname. It was the same thing, sort of a boring blowout. And then a couple of other um, friendlies got canceled. And in the meantime, the Toronto FC was doing just awful. So I just fast forwarded to World Cup qualifying. Here's our group right here in the NAM, whatever that is, North American something. North American Americans. I don't know what the M stands for. No idea. But it's World Cup qualifiers. Um, Barbados, Haiti, Mexico. So, obviously, Mexico is the big, big dog in that division. Um, Haiti, 101st. We're better than them. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, Barbados. Pretty sure we're better than them. Yeah, 109th. So, if we play our cards right, we'll get at least two wins. And then it'll be up to the Mexico game. And I don't know if, like, the top two in each group moves forward. I have no idea what this tournament's all about. But we're going to give it a shot. We're going to give it a shot. So we've got some things going on here. Let's look at... So we, we picked our team and added a couple new guys. Dropped a guy. Uh, two guys, actually. Marks is injured. The striker. And also, of course, the human offside machine, Daniel Dudek. The press was a little, a little surprised at that because he had like a ton of international caps, as they say. But you know what? I just got kind of sick of tired of his business of going off sides, <clears throat> and we um, found some young guys to come on the team who looked pretty good. Some guys who are hiding out in the under-23 team. First of all, Israel Cantu suddenly became a four-star, three-and-a-half-star guy. He was like a two-star guy before. I don't know what that's all about. See, he still looks like a two-star guy when I, when I look at him that way. I don't understand this scouting. But when you look at his stats, he's okay. I compared him to Dudek. He had some strengths. Um, compared to Dudek, he was in much better spirits than Dudek, of course. He's got better finishing, you know. He's got some stuff going on, so. Kept him on the team. Added Rudy Pasquier, who he played for us before, but he kept switching back and forth between the under-23s. Um, so, he's going to be our reserve sort of all-around reserve. He can play central, he can play advanced, he can play striker, so that's good. 22 years old, he's got a lot of interesting skills going on. Agility, he's, you know, he's not bad anywhere, he's not great anywhere, he's got good finishing. Um, you know, still a young guy, but I think he's very talented, so that's good. Brought Bojevic back. Uh, Callum Ferguson's back, and David Haynes is the other new guy. Just 20 years old. All he can do is strike. But I wanted to get a little fresh blood up there on the strikers. Um, maybe he won't go off sides quite as much. He's got better off the ball. 14. I mean, he's fast. He can accelerate. He can finish pretty good dribble. I'd like to have more guys with passing. I mean, his passing is atrocious. But what I've noticed is the Mexican team, like, everybody on their team has great passing. 
so I don't know if I want to start patterning my game after Mexico, considering I seem to have to play them all the time. But I don't know, I definitely got to find out a way to beat Mexico, so I, I don't know. Trying to add a little more speed, a little more youth. You look at our lineup here, we're looking pretty good in terms of just star power here. Um, I like this team. I feel good about this team. I think we can qualify for the World Cup. I have high hopes. High hopes. So let's continue on. We got our pre match press conference. Got the kitty, executive director, kitty cat, rubbing up on the microphone here. Yum, 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 yum. All right, enough of that. Stop that. Uh, she's also blocking the screen. What are you doing? Sit down. Good job. My cat sits when I tell her to sit. That's not true, but <clears throat> if I can align the two, if I can align the command of sit when she's about to sit, then she sits when I tell her to. <laughs> you know how cats are. All right, so here we go. Oh boy, we got indifferent devious guy again from the North American Football Post. You've announced a very experienced team with average age of 28. You think you encounter difficulties with energy? Often comes difficulties without the energy and drive that comes with younger players. Uh, no, I have to take particular care. I don't want to answer that question. I would not have picked them unless I knew they were capable. That's what I want. Jake Lubon is currently on 49 Canadian caps. Looks to reach 50. How do you think you'll handle this occasion? Jake will handle it as a professional, as every previous cap. Boring, but well, they got all these devious and different dudes. That was the same guy. It's the Rizza is back. Hey. Still plugging away. Uh, selection of Guy Bamba. Born in Tico. They're just making these places up. I don't know. Sparked fierce debate. Ooh. Shirley is going to disrupt the sense of identity and pride among what? That's terrible. I don't see that happening. Players aren't as narrow minded as you think. Decision uh, to omit Richie Rizma has puzzled many. Well, he hasn't played in a while. He used to be. He was another guy. He was a guy that I brought up with Toronto FC. Traded him away for cash, of course. But he's just not... I mean, he's good, but he's not as good as the other guys. What can I say? Um, never rule out anyone, but I want to explore other options. Yes. <clears throat> but it's a long press conference. How important to start your group match with victory? It's very important. There we go. All right. Press conference out of the way. Ready to go. We're taking on Haiti. Oh, what's going on here? Am I going to get fired here? Ex-Canada star demands focus. Uh, okay. So an unnamed... Unnamed Canada stars demand focus. Fine weather for the Haiti game. 46 degrees. Hmm. In Toronto. Oh, all right. It's going to be a home game. Ferguson confident of it. Okay. That's good. Toronto FC proposed contract renewal. All right. Two million bucks. Yeah. Payroll. Yeah. No philosophy. See, I love... That's why I love working for Toronto. That's why I never really changed positions because they don't care they don't care about philosophies they don't make any requests they let me keep my transfer budget they're just like here you go do what you want so we will accept that uh it's fine can they give me more than two years they never want to give me more than two years fine fine <clears throat> at least they didn't fire me because my after last season we actually finished dead friggin last in the eastern conference 
So my board reputation has gone down. Like last year, I actually got a perfect 100%. I got a little achievement for that. And this year, I was like at the end of the season, after that collapse that we had, I was down to like 38% board uh, approval. So that ain't good. That's the lowest I've been in years and years. But we'll bring that up back up next season. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. Nation signs a new deal. Questions from the Ontario. You just signed a new contract. I'm delighted. Can you keep the good time rolling? Absolutely. No need to read the rest of those answers. Just say absolutely. Absolutely fabulous. Never was a fan of that show. There was a movie out. Did you know that? Did I know that? Did anybody know that? Actually, I saw a review of it. Um, it's like an actual movie in the actual movie theaters, not just a TV movie. Um, anyway, probably don't know what I'm talking about. Kitty, quiet. Quiet down there. Commander Kitty. Okay, World Cup. Cup, cup, cup. Cup, Cup, World Cup qualifiers. USA takes on Honduras. We know all about Honduras. They're beatable. Jamaica. All right. So we got lots of beatable teams. Why weren't we down here in this group? Group three. Why do we always got to go against Mexico? Again, I don't know the rules of this cup. Would they tell us the rules of this cup? Oh, it says right there, rules. Okay. First leg, 12 subs name, maximum of three use, no player restrictions. Okay, penalty, 12. Qualification winners qualify for the fourth round. Okay. Hmm. That doesn't really tell me what I'm looking at here. Third round. Hmm. So we must have qualified at some other point from first and second rounds. I don't get how this qualifying works. Just I just show up and play soccer. As long as we win, we'll keep going, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, that's how it works, right? Just win, baby. Look at this. All right, we got everybody looking pretty good. These guys are a little low. Bring in Pascal. Clement. Attacking midfielder, Takarista. He's not as good as Angosh. Let's go with the attacking midfielder. Uh, Ryan Smith also. Do we want to replace him with Bojevic? Just a minor step down. Just a half step down. Oh, we got two central midfielders. Uh, no. Filipino is not a central midfielder. He's an advanced. Alright. Look at that. All hundreds. When have we last seen that? Never. Never, never. Alright. This looks like a good squad. Gonna keep our attacking ways. See what happens. See what happens. Hmm. 
I believe Canada have enough quality to see off Haiti. Such weird terminology with these soccer people. Jake Lubon makes his 50th appearance. I am delighted for him. Yes, I am. He's my best pal. That's not true, but hey, what are you going to do? Look at that advice from people giving advice. But we do what we do. This has been working pretty good defensively. Nobody's... Well... There was that one game where we had guys score three goals against us, but that never happened because of saving um, madness. But in actual scores of actual games, nobody scored more than one goal against me. So, passionate. Um, let's give them the performance they're expecting. Okay. Fine, fine. Let's go. Hey, yes, this is this is the Toronto home team. Look at us. Look at our cute little stadium. Packed. I wonder if it's got all 65,000. Kempen, where are you going? Okay, here we go. Bojevic. Get there. Got to get off to a good start, just like Gold Cup. Let's get lots of goals. There we go. There we go. Wolishin, the defenseman with his goal. That's that's a good start. Filipino to Wolishin. Boy, their defense was not looking. That guy in the middle was just looking the wrong way. But that's a good sign when your defense is the first to score. Get a few more. Rack them up. Oop, oop. Okay. No threat there. Uh, Kempen is stalling. Kempen is acting weird this game already. I might have to slow down and do s a little bit more controlling here. Oh, good interception there. Let's go. Ooh. Cantu, is he on side? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oof. Good shot. Good try. One man fast break there. Not off sides. Like, you know who, name that shall not be spoken. All right, these guys are fresh, they're healthy. They're looking good. Oof, nice snag there, goaltender. Lovely move by Canada. I like some of the expressions that happen at the bottom of the page. Oop, Martinez offsides. All right, 20 minutes in, 1-0, we're looking good. Uh-oh, free kick. There we go. There we go, let's counterattack. Let's counterattack. We got some guys rushing. Give it to him in the middle of the field. There he is. Breakaway Martinez. Goal. See, this is how it should be. This is how soccer should be played right here. Offense to defense. Passing the ball to the right guys at the right time. Actually shooting. I mean, their goaltender was just standing there. Standing there. I need to find a, something to say other than just standing there. But that's what he was doing. I mean, what can you say? Not much more you can say about that. That's all I got to say about that. So we still have all eyes on Mexico. You know, I think we can be confident to beat the other two teams. Uh, we've got a good squad. We've got lots of quality 
as the guys on ESPN would say. Ooh, good save. I'm going to feel bad for this goaltender. He's going to just get peppered. But uh, I don't really have room for mercy here. This isn't a friendly. Boy, we are just packing it in there. Of course, uh, one goal could turn this around for them. You know, if they get a late goal here, I could throw a monkey wrench, a spanner in the works. Martinez, get there, get there, get there. Boom. Yeah. Oh, look at the cartwheel. Boom. Yeah. Martinez is just too good. Too good. I wish he scored more goals for me this year for Toronto. But he was injured for most of the season. So... This is his comeback. This will get him ready for next year. I have lots of confidence. All right. Up three. Zip. Because, let's see. I don't know. If we win two, lose to Mexico. we got to hope that Mexico loses at some point. I don't know why, how they would lose to these other two teams. But if we don't beat Mexico, maybe we could tie them and just win on... Most goals. I don't know how that works. Anyway, I'm very pleased. Keep it up. Everybody's delighted. Second half. Should we keep attacking? Should we control? It's working. So but I wish I could look at the schedule and see when the next game is. I don't want to burn all these guys out. It is nice to get a home game, though. Why did we get the luxury of a home game? That's a, that's a good question. For a World Cup qualifier to give us a home game, like an... I don't know. That's kind of weird. Whoops, what was that? Martinez, like, wasn't even looking. All right. Let's not give up a goal here. There we go. Um, Kempen, come on, man. You need some spatial awareness there, buddy. That was well outside the goal. I don't want to brag or anything, but I was a fabulous goaltender for the uh, 10 and under league. Parks and Recreations. I mean, I've got two championship trophies hanging on my wall right here behind me in the trophy case for the 10 and under soccer I mean I'm just saying that's how qualified I am as a soccer uh, guru and legend really so okay that's not good that's not good Jean-Marie Bennett we don't need to see that again So, I should probably change our instructions here. Let's change to counterattacking, normal, well, maybe even defensive. Let's go standard. Standard, normal, possession. Okay. Three one is good, but it's not as good as three nil. I just don't want them to score again. Keep them to one, and we'll be cuckoo. 
Okay, it's time for some subs, I think. Knowles is not looking good. Bring in Ollie. Oop. Fairly poor. I still don't I don't I don't like that term, that phrase. Like fairly poor is better than poor or not better than poor. I don't I don't understand. I don't understand the use of the word fairly in that context. But hey. What do I know? Um, let's bring in Ryan Smith for Bojevic. Um, Smith is the ball winning, right? Bring in a little defense off the bench. There we go. <clears throat> looking good, looking good. Martinez, where are you going? Oh, nice move. Yeah, this goaltender is suddenly suddenly started making some saves. I guess when he's not just one on one in the open field, he's a decent goaltender. It's looking like we're gonna end three one here. That's pretty good. That's all right. D. Okay, no late cheap goals. No late cheap goals. That's all I ask for. Get there. Yeah, Wallachin clearing up. Wallachin is really tall. Look at his measurables. Maybe that was just a weird angle. Kempen's been getting awful daring this game. Oh, come on, there's a penalty. Alright, just about the end of stoppage time here. Two minutes. Right now. So it could end at any time, and there it is. 3-1. That's the way to start. That's... Whoa. Getting excited over here. That's the way the cookie crumbles. And it crumbles for us. Well done, guys. Good win. For whom does the cookie crumble? It crumbles for thou. Crum crumbles for thee? Crumbles for thee. I mean, that's not a... A phrase anyway, but I'll say it like it is. USA eases to victory 2-0 over Honduras. Confident performance from Canada. That's what we're talking about right there. An efficient performance by Canada's players. Saw them confidently overcome a lackluster Haiti. 3-1 at BMO Field. Two goals from Martinez. Good. Good, 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 good stuff. Fans, please. Okay. Another supporter spokesperson. Oh, it's the same guy. Matthew Junkie or Yunkie. He reported that the fans are pleased with Canada's 3-1 World Cup North American qualifying section. Fourth round group two. That's a lot of stuff. It still doesn't explain where the M comes from. Still don't know what the M is for. The NAM. I have no idea. Anyway, fans were delighted. Filipino, Pasquier, Martinez, particularly impressed. Yes. The chief. All right. The team will be pleased that they are currently on course to achieve their minimum aim of reaching the fifth round. Fifth round. How many rounds are there in this thing? Maybe five. <laughs> At least five. Okay, questions from the devious Mr. Rizza again. Jake Luban's 50th cap. How important has he been for soccer in the country? Hmm. Great achievement shows that he's a wonderful servant. 
pleased with getting off to a good start. And I think it'll give us confidence. I, I <laughs> quick and side note, I almost always pick the second one because it's usually the best one. Like the first answer is usually like too confident. Second answer is sort of you know fairly confident. Third answer is always I don't want to answer that. And then you start getting into the sort of negative comments. So usually number two is the best one. So obviously you like seeing your side. You don't like seeing your side allow goals. Surely you admit that Jean Merle Bennett's effort was sensational. Uh, you know, uh, it was fine. It was a good header. I'll give it to him. Uh, a bit of a collector's item. The goal from Bob Woloshen. Such a weird name, Woloshen. Uh, absolute miracle, no. He's been working hard to improve. I don't really care where the goals come from. That's true. I don't. Uh, except for Martinez. He's got a score. You must be pleased with Filipino's performance. Yes, he had a good game. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Anything else going on here? Filipino cream of the crop with an assist. 9-0 rating. 75% passes. 100% tackles. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Smith, please. Ryan Smith. It's my midfielder, right? Okay, Hughes, please. Canada can build the World Soccer Magazine. Leading reporter for World Soccer Magazine. Called on Canada to build on their group picture of Haiti. I almost called them Hawaii. Barbados, Mexico, and Haiti again. Do you play each team twice? This is like round robin style. I don't know. All right. Well, that's it for that round, that match, that qualifier. Uh, see you next time. Bye.